In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for potassium hydroxide plus ammonium chloride. So when we put potassium hydroxide and ammonium chloride together, we first get KCl plus NH4OH. This is potassium chloride and ammonium hydroxide. But for the ammonium hydroxide, if there's heat involved, it's going to break down into ammonia gas plus water. So quite often, the equation that you'll be asked to balance, the net ionic equation, is this one right here. And that's the one we're going to do in this video. So the first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. This is our molecular equation, and it's already balanced. So for step two, we're going to write the state for each substance. So for potassium hydroxide, this is a strong base, strong electrolyte. It's going to break apart into its ions. Ammonium compounds and chloride compounds, very soluble. They're going to be aqueous. We have this KCl, another chloride, aqueous, and then ammonia, that's going to be a gas, and water is going to be a liquid. So we have the states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions for the complete ionic equation. Potassium hydroxide, strong electrolyte. Potassium is in group 1. We have a 1 plus. This whole hydroxide is 1 minus. So we have K plus plus OH minus. And I won't write the states now. Let's do that at the end. For the ammonium chloride, Ammonium ion, a good one to know, always has a 1 plus charge, chloride, 1 minus. So we have NH4 plus, that's our ammonium ion, plus the chloride ion, Cl minus. So those are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we have the KCl, so we have a plus and a minus. We'll have K plus, plus the chloride ion, plus, because this is a gas, we don't split gases apart in net ionic equations and we don't split liquids apart either. So we'll just have NH3 plus H2O. This is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. We're looking for things that are the same in the reactants and the products. So in the reactants, I see this potassium ion again in the products. Cross that out. Chloride ion, products, chloride ion, cross it out. What remains, that's the net ionic equation for KOH plus NH4Cl. I'll clean it up and write the states in. We'll have our net ionic equation. And this is the balanced net ionic equation for KOH plus NH4Cl. You'll notice that we have a negative charge and a positive charge. They balance out. Everything on this side is neutral. And if you count the atoms up, they'll be the same on both sides. One last thing, we'll often see the positive ion written first and then the negative ion second. It's the same net ionic equation, just maybe looks a little nicer. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for potassium hydroxide plus ammonium chloride. Thanks for watching.